so today is June the 7th, which means that it's my birthday. And um, thank you, by the way, to those who told me happy birthday on Twitter. That was really cool. Um, whenever I got up this morning, see some people that wished me happy birthday on Twitter, so thank you. Um, but for my birthday makeup, I've only done one eye. Um, but I decided to make it very, very bright and colorful and kind of all out because, like, usually I don't go this colorful, especially with the yellow liner um, because I'm going out today. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, it's my birthday. What the heck? I'm going to wear the bright color for makeup that I want to wear. So, um, by the way, I know that I will get this question. Um, I'm not going to say how old I am just because I'm paranoid about that kind of thing. I know that's going to sound really silly to some people, um, but I'm just paranoid, so I might someday, I don't know, talk about how old I am, but I just never online anywhere put out how old I am. Like, I wouldn't do it if I was 50. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm paranoid. Anytime I order something online, they want your age. I just put that I was born in, like, 1901, because that's, like, the earliest age you can do. Like, I'm just paranoid, but... Yes, I know, kind of weird, kind of lame, but yeah. Anyways, so um, back to the look. This was made um, using Glamour Doll Eyes. And I pretty much, like, I whenever I got up this morning, I wasn't even really thinking about my makeup. I was just like, I'll just do whatever comes to mind. And I thought, oh my goodness, I want to do yellow eyeliner. And so I used Electric Lemonade for that, just like this. Um... And then everything else just kind of followed after that. So, um, anyways, I will zoom in and get started. And I already primed my eye with e.l.f. primer. So now I'm taking the NYX Gemma Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to put this all over my eye. And on the brow bone. And then just blend that in with my finger. Okay, now I'm going to do something kind of a bit odd. I'm going to start with the liner. Because since it's a light color, I don't want it to get like messed up by the color on the lid. Um, I'm just going to, with the color on the lid, I'm going to take a brush and dab around the liner. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put the lid color on and just leave a space, but I would rather, personally, just take an angle brush, this is by Cindy Kashuk, and just go ahead and do the liner and then carefully put the lid color around it. Um, I feel that might be easier, but um, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to get this brush wet. And I'm going to take some of Electric Lemonade, which is this fierce, fierce yellow color. And I'm going to get some on the brush and swirl it around in the cap to kind of make a liner consistency. And I'm going to line my eyes. I'm just going to create a small wing and then just bring it in from there. I'm going to take uh, one of my favorite Glamour Doll Eyes color. This is in Taylor. And it's kind of a reddish pinkish. Um, looks like that. So I'm taking an Essence of Beauty eyeshadow brush. And once again, just getting a little on the brush and swirling that around in the cap. I'm not using this brush wet, by the way. I'm using this shadow dry. And I'm just going to carefully go around electric lemonade and bring that all the way into the inner corner and I'm going to keep this shadow on the lid just below the crease. So now I'm taking an elf, uh, what is this, contouring brush and the color Lover's Lane which is a dark red, kind of reminds me of Heritage Rouge from MAC, only um, it's just like a dark red. Heritage Rouge is a little bit more of like a plum red, to me at least. Um, and I'm getting a small amount on that brush. And this is kind of the part that takes a little more time, you got to be patient. Um, because since there's so much color going on, I didn't want heavy color in the crease. Because then I figured that might look a little scary. Um, so I'm just going to start carefully taking this in the crease and carefully taking it around the liner too. And then I'm going to take my Cine Kashuk blending brush and carefully blend out the edges. So I'm not going to keep the camera on the whole time that I'm doing this, um, just in an effort to make this tutorial shorter. But I'm just going to keep taking my, um, keep taking Lover's Lane 
and placing that on the eye. And I'm just going to keep alternating between Lover's Lane and my blending brush until I get something that kind of looks like that. So I'll come back when I've finished with that. Alright, so next I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to take Cloud Coverage, which is a matte white. Just like that. And um, I'm going to take this along my brow bone. Alright, now I'm going to start on the lower lash line, and I almost used a pink, or like I wasn't really sure what color to use, and then I was like, I will just do something totally crazy, because then it will probably end up working. <laughs> um, so I'm taking Fabulous, uh, one again, one of my favorite colors, it is a beautiful, beautiful turquoise teal color, it's really unique. And I'm taking um, an e.l.f. small precision brush. And I'm going to get this brush wet and then just swirl it around in the cap to get some of the product on there. And then I'm going to take this on the lower lash line. Alright, now for liner. I'm not going to use anything on the top lash line, obviously, because I want the yellow to stand out. But I am going to take for the waterline um, this Wet n Wild pencil in turquoise. and. This isn't the best pencil liner, um, kind of you kind of have to work to get it on there, so I like to kind of start by warming it up on the back of my hand, and then applying it to my waterline. Alright, and for the inner corner, I'm taking the e.l.f. concealer brush once more, and getting a little bit of uh, the Jumbo Pencil and Milk on that, and taking that on the inner corner. Alright, and that is it for the shadow and liner, so I will go apply my CoverGirl Lash Blast Luxe, that's what I use for mascara, and I will be right back. So there's the finished look. I'm going to take my Rimmel Lipstick in Airy Fairy, and then on top I'm taking just a small amount of the Josie's Girl Lip Gloss in Pink Lemonade, and I'm just going to dab this right on the center of my lid lid, lip. Okay, sorry, that was um, my best friend just called me to tell me happy birthday and i um, probably going to hang out with her and her boyfriend later and that'll be really awesome, I'm excited. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I'm just taking this lip gloss um, and I'm just applying this to the center of my lip. Alright, and that is it for the look. So. Zoom in one more time. It's very colorful. I kind of don't feel like it's too crazy. I don't know, maybe because it's not like a heavy color in the crease. Um, but it definitely is colorful. So um, anyways, um, thank you again, like I said, to the people who told me happy birthday. So I have another video planned that I might do, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow night. I'm not quite sure because I'm going to hang out with some people tonight. And then tomorrow I have like work, so we'll see. But um, I have another video planned, and I have a couple requests that I need to do. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the look, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.